بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد our manners the way we treat one another the way we interact with one another is something that's supposed to distinguish the Muslim in fact it does distinguish the Muslim that which is from Islam but unfortunately when we fall short and don't behave in a way in which we should behave then that's un-Islamic and Islam calls us to everything good and it calls us to peacefulness and righteousness excellent conduct and behavior and if you want to know in general about the behavior of a Muslim and the mu'min and you ask yourself that question you can find that it's contained in a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam was asked that very same question Su'ila Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam An akthari ma yurkhul al-nas al-jannah Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Taqwa Allah wa husn al-khulq Usu'ila an akthari ma yurkhul al-nas al-nar Qala fim wa faraj In this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He was asked the very same question That many of us ask What is the conduct befitting of a Muslim? What is the aim of our conduct? What are we trying to achieve, you know? We're trying to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Naam But what is the thamarat of that worship? What is the benefit the fruit of our labor, so to speak, the fruit of our worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Prophet والسلام, was asked, What is the thing that people that will cause people to be entered into Jannah or paradise the most? You know, what what is that? What is that thing that will cause the people to be entered into paradise? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Taqwullah wa husna khulq So the Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam Then he was asked What is the thing that will enter the people into the fire? And he said Al-Fim wa Faraj He said The mouth in the private parts. So in the first part of the hadith, when the Prophet was asked that question that we ask, alayhi salatu wasalam, about what will enter the people into paradise. You know, what will be the thing that causes them to enter into paradise the most? The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Taqwullah wa husn al-khulq. He said alayhi salatu wasalam, he said it is fearing Allah, and it is righteous manners. Taqullah wa husn al-khulq. And Taqullah Azza wa Jal is fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
by doing those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded and avoiding those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited. That's taqullah azza wa jal as defined by the ulama, the scholars in Islam. So it is avoiding those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited and doing those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded. By avoiding those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or doing those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us with the salat. Commanded us with prayer. He's commanded us with fasting. As we're doing now in the last few days of Ramadan. He's commanded us with performing the pilgrimage. He's commanded us with good manners. He's commanded us to obey our parents and be kind and gentle with them. He's commanded us to be just. He's commanded us to be just with one another. He's commanded us to be kind and gentle with one another. He's commanded us to be just. If a man has more than one wife, he's in a polygamous relationship, that he must be just with his family as much as possible. Do his best, strive his utmost to be just. And many other things in the shara that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us with. And amongst the many things or those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited us from, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited us from shirk, of course, worshipping other than him, polytheism. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala has commanded has, has prohibited us from committing adultery and fornication. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited us from taking interest, riba. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commended us from bad conduct, from from being disobedient to our parents, harming our parents, even with with a simple word. By saying, you know, telling them to keep silent. Or just just a simple word of just saying, huh, like this to your parents. That's disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just as simple as that. Showing us the greatness of the parents. And the importance of being respectful and appreciative of the sacrifices they made in order for you to be here. All of those things make up taqwa Allah wa jal. And that's what the Prophet ﷺ said. The thing that would enter the people in the paradise the most is that taqwa. It's fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And along with that, husn al So the second aspect of that is righteous conduct. Meaning that the Muslim should, gener should be generally be a gentle person, should be gentle with people. The Muslim should be respectful and kind with people. The Muslim should not terrorize people. The Muslim should not be lying, stealing, all of those things which are forms of evil and wickedness, the Muslim should be furthest away from that. Should be illustrating husn al righteous conduct, piety. The second part of that hadith, the Prophet ﷺ was asked about the hellfire. You know, what is, will cause the people to be placed in the fire. So the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said al fim wa faraj He said the, the, the tongue or the mouth and the private parts. Now looking at 
those two limbs, so to speak, parts of the body, body parts, we know that much of our sin comes from those two areas, if not all of our sins are related to it one way or another. Because the tongue, how many hurtful and harmful words come from the tongue? How many times have you hurt someone deeply with the words that you spoke? By cursing them, by calling them names, by backbiting them, speaking about them, by lying about them, by slandering, even cheating with the tongue, deceiving people with the tongue, all of those things are things that have to do with foul speech. Just even just having foul speech, even if it's not directed towards someone else, simply being a person who is just vulgar and aggressive or belligerent with the tongue. Just speaking. Someone who just speaks a lot, doesn't know what they're saying, with very abusive speech. All of that is sinfulness. And from that is the way to the hellfire. And the second aspect of that that the Prophet Ali Salatu Salam mentioned is having is your private parts, is the sins that free that come from there. That that it can be a, a way and a means to the hellfire. Why is that? How many sins flow from related to our desires? Either directly or indirectly. Meaning that through your desires, it causes you to look at the Muharram, to follow and touch the Muharram, and, and so forth. And actually, the private part itself that a person can have commit adultery or fornication through that means, of course. Letting us know that that can be through your private parts by not protecting and preserving your private parts of remaining chaste, that that can take you to the hellfire. That is a sabil to the hellfire. So the Prophet wasallam said by protecting those two things, in another hadith, he said, it, the one who can guarantee protecting those two things, I guarantee them paradise. Alayhi salatu wasalam. Letting us know that if you can safeguard your private parts, avoid that muharramat and your tongue in a vile, vile tongue, that is the path to Jannah. That is a, 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 the way seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the way to paradise. So it's on the believer and up to the believer to follow the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And to look towards being a person of righteous conduct and a person of morality and a person who avoids those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited, doing those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded. All of those things are related. All of that is related to taqwa Allah azza wa jal. Doing that which Allah loves and commands and avoiding that which he has prohibited. And included is that is the righteous deeds and protecting the private parts and protecting your tongue from vile speech. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of the Sadaheen, those people who practice 
having that conduct that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.